Hello everyone. Uh, welcome back again to my channel. My name is Karthik, and today in this session we'll learn how we kill, how we will integrate ChatGPT OpenAI with Blazor 7 WebAssembly, okay. and uh, how we can you know that look like okay. See, this is a we already in integrated in WebAssembly. So if you don't know about the ChatGPT, ChatGPT actually so uh, it is a open ai artificial artificial intelligence so whatever questions you do you have or you know if you want to write some content if you want to something else so just ask to him and it is it will give the response actually so suppose for example i want to know about dot net so about dot net 7 so just give the hints and send the and our uh, questions it will give the answer see everything it is just giving in the you know one place not you know suppose for these things you have to search in google so it you will get the many many place many 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 blogs and all of the stuff right but here the main place you know one place where you can get everything so that already also they have you know chat gpt given as a ui but uh, I'll integrate as well. They they will provide actually UI as well as the API. So if you want to integrate uh, API in any UI application, like for the I am integrating Blazor Web Assembly. But if you want to integrate, you know, some uh, MVC, if you want to integrate in Angular, so you can you can do very easily. So for example, right in this session, we'll integrate in Blazor in a Blazor. 7.net uh, 7 web assembly and uh, what you need to okay see so this is our chat gpt you know uh, the screen the ui for the chat gpt so they also you know provide suppose uh, do, about dot net so when you give this question so it also will give the answer okay so see similar kind of thing but you know when you integrate api so in this ui also you require you know login but if you integrate and your, your application and you have to record only just you know authentication key so once you get the key and you can just integrate api so it don't you don't bother about that login so everybody can use uh, for example for example this suppose i i i integrate in our application and i deploy in anywhere so nobody required to any login okay so they can use you know they can use my authentication key and they can just ask anything and they can get the result directly without login so this is the benefit of that integration and okay so what you need to do you need to open just open openai.com because it is a open ai uh, api actually of the of the chat gpt so just log in first time you have to log in you know if you want to integrate so definitely you have to create a one login so just login login well, i'm not showing over here because this is a simple just login they will ask okay you want to create a new login or you do have any google credential means google law you know username and password so based on this actually they create a login as well so i'm not going to that but yeah once you log in see once you log in you can see that you know after login over here and once you log in you can go to this api reference section and in this api reference section you can see that create chat gpt you know there is a many of many other api also exposed but yeah in this session we'll uh, implement that only just in you know, a completion so that see this is uh you know the request actually open api uh, this is actually the request uri and based on the request equally you can just pass a model there is a very various type of model actually so based on this model you will get that response so in this session we'll use uh, that one yes we'll use this model completion go to yeah not this one yeah this one completion go to completion create completion and here see so i'll there is a various type of model so their their own benefits so yeah i will use the text even c003 okay and what are the required you have to record the api also you have to record that a api key so where you will get that api 
so go to here and view api key okay so if it is already you generated so you will get over here if it is not just you know create that new secret key and you will create and once you get the key you just copy over here and just it means two things it only record that api and this key okay now let's get to start it to integration in our uh, blazor web assembly so if you know about uh, about that blazor web assembly so i already create i uh, know uh, the for beginner how we can create a, a uh, create a first application you know a blazor web assembly so you can go and check out my youtube channel also i'll share that link okay so let's get started without wasting a time create a new project i'll create enough from scratch so that you definitely know about how we can do that okay so just select here blazor okay go to blazor see there's a two model so i'll choose that web assembly go to next and just change it to chat gpt on ai okay also this repo i'll share with you in our you know uh, github so you can check out and you can get it over there as well okay so nothing is recorded just whatever in our default is selected let's create it will create for us within a second yes it is so before i start any implementation just hit and run like your sample project is working or not just try to check first it is running let's see the output yeah see there's the output of blazor web assembly the sample template okay everything is working fine everything actually i describe my other videos so you can go everything i describe actually how the structure how can flow uh, workflow how the app application flow like working everything is come so i'm not going to there but just i'll uh, will integrate our application open api so okay other one more thing i think i need to share with you go to completion create completion okay so before starting what you need to request so see this is our chat gpt response so you have to create this model as well so this is the best way like how we can create that model so just copy okay also here the copy option copy here go to first here create a model the mo it will take actually uh, might be video could be a long little bit but yeah i'm doing from scratch so is sure okay just delete this guy rename this guy well okay and create a class add a class this is api response okay. chat gpt sorry chat response okay it is chat gpt response and then what we there is an option actually based on this you have you just copy so special go to the json class see already all the stuff is created okay so what need to do just change this guy to the root object that's fine this guy so remove okay so our response is ready okay whatever response will get from there okay now need to create a service so that uh, i can call that service and i can get that response so again just create a services so this okay 
and so just get a name uh, could be a uh, an api an ai service okay just create a service okay once you create a service what you need to do so just uh, you require actually HTTP client. So based on the HTTP client, I will call that API. So just get a constructor, okay? And HTTP client, HTTP client. Let's create an object, initiate. And yes. So yeah, I create an object of now HTTP client based on dependency injection. Also, it will resolve the dependency injection in here program.cs file and already is there okay i don't need to worry about that so okay so now it's fine now what i need to do i need to create a one method so i don't want to write again the whole code i just copy paste so that uh, wasting of time instead of wasting of time i can lead this session quickly but i will explain everything from me Okay. so yeah i create a gen method generate completion okay i pass in the prompt okay based on the prompt whatever prompt i will pass okay so prompt means that is question actually whatever question i ask like for example i show in the in the demo like about dot net so that about dot net will come here okay and i create a request data in this request data actually we have to pass some some you know property like okay what is the max token what is the model okay see already we we saw right that model so see this model token everything actually created a a, a request data okay so this is a straightforward and once i get it just i i serialize so that i can create an a serialize the data and that serialized data i just you know uh, convert in our you know application.json as a content and i create that things as a content convert into you know string content and then what i doing i did just first i clear the default uh, header and then i add this header actually the authentication where and those key actually i will add uh, that uh, value the url and api you know key and url in our app.config file so what we required in this case we required actually inject you know this configuration so just copy paste instead of this okay again just select one more service again just it is shortcut control dot and you can just initialize with this field okay so see automatic created and this has been resolved okay but still my api key is not there okay so that also need to create how we can create it just go to actually in blazor web assembly if you want to create any uh, you know static file so you can just here like in uh, under the web root so go to here new items and just App settings okay or okay see okay and here what i need to do i need to just uh, add some property over here so that api key and api url just let grab that one so that okay so just okay this is our api key uh, uh, miss url uh, which is coming from here okay see this is coming from here also key key will coming from you know another uh, key from the key actually, api key if you go to that view api key and once you just copy 
okay here is the edit i think once you go to edit then you can copy over here okay so i have already so for the secret purpose but yeah i'll delete as well no issue but as of now i just pass that key So this is a key don't worry about that i'll delete it after this session so don't try to use this one so i'll delete this one okay so this is complete and one more actually setting is required to get this you know configuration so you have to go to program.cs file and just add one line to actually this guy so this so that whatever your configuration I just add it over here. Okay. So this one is fine. Okay. Then our service service is created. Okay. And one more thing. Okay. This open model API is not a right class name which is we created. Okay. So just refer this guy. Just GPT response. So that whatever response we'll get, we can serialize and we can deserialize and get it from okay and actually the response getting from in the choice dot zero okay so okay. so let's okay your api service is completed okay so then and uh, okay and uh, move further going to here and remove everything like i don't want to record any other stuff so just remove this guy okay only this is the fine okay. also okay yeah just to copy paste the html because uh, there's a uh, many css and all the stuff is required so there is a straightforward html just copy from there because you know we required Uh, okay, remove this guy this guy also this guy just yes so just paste first your uh, css so this is a look like as a very straightforward css like okay this is a class and i want some height weight and this is so that way i can actually get it uh, i can get it look like this like okay so this is find some style and then record some HTML. Okay. And then HTML, we can just wrap here so that we can testing of time we can get it from here. Okay, so this is HTML. Okay, leave it as of now. This one. Right. Yes. So this is straightforward HTML. Okay, this is chat box. Okay and this is input so there is a two section actually if you see over here this is a chat box and this is input section so this two style i already uh, i created two div over here okay and some functionality also like okay if input input uh, input text box okay so in the input text box whatever you know uh, if i put some data then actually it is uh, you know loading or something like that so see this is the input text box if i if i add something so it is changing actually green okay so that if i if i not an input so nobody can just click okay the c it is a disable so those are functionality also i i achieve over here so those are there and this is just you know whatever response just whatever response i'm getting just populate it over here so this is that logic in this actually we will get from here so First, I'm just element. Then I'll explain everything. Okay. So there is a one code section. The red code. Okay. Yeah. And the red code. Now, now I required some property. Okay. So just take this property. Okay. I required you know bottom button button text. I required you know progress bits and also is loading and user input field okay and this is the chat box okay so this class also i need to create 
so that whatever I get the response I can store in this class okay and create a list and then we can bind over here okay and also that send method see this is a click click method of then you click the send so that will get that call uh, that will call our API and get the response and binding over here so don't worry about that everything I'll explain one way so first I create a send method so just copy paste okay before create a send method I'll just create a API okay whatever a service be created just I want to inject over there so that I can call actually okay so what is the mechanism to inject in this web assembly go to index okay and just after route page route you can just the name is wrong so it is open api here here and just change it okay it is required some reference so just using this okay that is sufficient okay, then i can create a method who can return my response so so this is actually so i create a async method i get response i will pass input whatever questions and based on this see i inject it already here so open ai generation complexity here and uh, and based on this call actually see this is actually calling this is calling and based on the input i'll get that data and and it will get the response and this response i need to bind actually here so i need to create that chat gpt message as well so just you can create a message you can create a class actually so just copy this class and go to model add a model class just dot cs file okay. let's create a model and what i need to do i need to create two property so that uh, it is a text whatever text i will get it okay from the response uh, the api response and I constructor and and I store that you know assign those very very well it is actually user input message as well user has send an input message or not okay just bring that uh, namespace okay that's fine then this is complete then what I need to do I need to create that send see this one is pending so send message uh, once i click so that click event i i have to create it so just this get that send method what we'll do in send method see first time button text whatever button text see this button text it one suppose i just pass something just see some loading and so uh, progress bar as well so see so uh, first time it will loading okay uh, this will loading and based on this actually i put some logic okay and then i put some you know, state change uh, you know method uh, the, it is a uh, maintaining the stage state actually laser web assembly and then what i do i call that chat box okay and then add and that to create a constructor means calling the constructor and pass that user in whatever user input and it is true okay based on this okay first time i set it as a true and then call this our method this method to get that response so based on this it will call over here it will get the response and back to the response over here and then response again i have to update in this class so whatever response i get it but user input is false okay so based on this and the finally user input will empty means once i get the response user input also empty and it is going back to again uh, to red so that nobody can so say means it is a state forward uh, you can say like uh, uh, code 
so nothing is a very complex so if you do you have any questions you think okay no i'm not able to understand so i'll you can just share your comments in my uh, in my uh, comment section i'll explain uh, again issue and uh, one more thing i just uh, need to implement handle input actually so what is the handle input suppose whatever i uh, input say press any key so i need to update actually this uh, variable so that's why i need to handle input so just need to create a one more event okay this is that one whatever handle input i will get it that from that uh, ui i just update it over here that's it i think so it is there also i added a uh, episode.json file so what need to do you just go to property it is content and you have to set to copy if it's never so that once you build it will you know in your root folder you you can get the available you will get that uh, value from there okay and uh, that is sufficient i guess so let's build and see is there any error or not okay build succeed okay and just try to run is working fine or not okay it is error let me check the error so that okay so finally i got this actually issue is i just using a inject that's you know open ai but i am not registered actually so what i need to do i miss that part actually okay yeah that's fine that's why actually if you create from scratch so definitely you will get that you know exact issue okay that's why i created okay so i need to register over here okay, so that uh, that can resolve our dependency so builder dot services dot add transient okay and then you can pass your uh, sky okay so see okay now i resolve this dependency now try more time okay now finally see same output whatever output we saw in the demo but yeah it still is there but i remove that one but yeah i need to remove from that navigation bar also so see this time nothing of every everything so yeah just trying to check okay our api is uh, open api getting a response or not okay so uh, what is dot net seven just check yes everything is working loading and everything yes finally see that was our expectation so finally i get the response okay also if you want to debug i can show and debug more that no cheating huh? yes so first go to our uh, index the tracer okay, so this is our uh, click event send event so finally it should be come here then also should come here okay so so there's a two instance open i guess which one is our okay yeah finally call the what is dot net seven right okay this one so when i okay so see i'm not able to click so when i again uh, uh top 10 dot net questions okay so this is some spelling mistake no issue just hit enter send yes see debugger is reaching over there send method if you f10 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 go to here 
and when you press F10, it will go to here. Okay. Then you you want to see the exact implementation. Okay, so go to there and F10, F10, see is there, it is calling, it is creating everything, everything, and then finally you will get that response over here. So see it is loading and see finally get that response okay so this response actually get it the yeah, it is success or not if it is not success then it is showing this message okay it's success so i'll read that content from there once i read the content see this is our exact output which is giving to call it is a open api okay so this is our response and uh, finally i deserialize okay see finally i got this response and once okay okay continue see finally i got the response okay also they are uh, not giving actually like this way but yeah some uh, modification i did so that's why you able to see okay everything whatever getting so just break actually so what i did uh, they will give actually new line uh, new line stuff so i just implement actually i just use that you know markup string based on the mask i replace that whatever the new line i just replace into break so that whatever you know uh, response i'm getting they are giving you know that new line so just i you know replace that too so that look can feel and better okay so that's all if you if you think any also you know i share this code to in our our github link so you can refer and use it but yeah i'll remove uh, that key don't try to use that key okay and uh, yes that's fine okay yeah also if you do you have any question and you any in, trying to implement and raising some issue you can just share your uh, comments i'll try to resolve okay thank you have a nice day